Hello and welcome to the we're doing a question from Leak Code called Merge Strings. Alternately, this is question number one from Leak Code 75. So we've been doing a lot of questions from Blind 75, but if you're doing the Leak Code 75 playlist, this is going to be the very first question in that question set. So what is this question asking? You're given two strings, word one and word two. Merge the strings by adding letters in alternating order, starting with word one. If a string is longer than the other, append the additional letters onto the end of the merge string and return that string. So example one, we have A, B, C, and P, Q, R. We want to just alternate. So we're going to start with word one. So we go A, P, B, Q, C, R. And that is our merge string that we return. Example two, we have word one being A, B, and word two being P, Q, R, S. So just alternating through, we go from A, P, B, Q, and then we still have R, S as extra letters. So we're just going to tack that on to the end of our merged string. So our final output is A, P, B, Q, R, S. Example three, we have A, B, C, D, and P, Q. Now this time word one is longer than word two, but we always start with word one. So we're gonna go A, P, B, Q, and then just tack on C, D to the end. So we just want to merge word one and word two, alternating the characters between them. Any extra characters are just appended to the end of that merged string. Now, before jumping into any question and just jumping into the code, we always, always, always want to start off with examples. This is because here we'll really sort out our logic and really be able to see what our solution should be doing. So over here, if I have word one, a, b, and word two, p, q, r, s, I want to merge them. How do I do that? I know I want to start off with word one first. So say I start with index zero. So this is the index that I am on for word one. And I want to take this character and add that to my final merged string. So merge right now is just going to hold A. I want to see what the index for word two is. So the first index there is P. So I'm going to add P to merge as well. Now that this is done, I'm just going to increment both indices. So I is at B for word one and J is at Q for word two. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to add the character at word one and then the character at word two. So now merge is going to be A, P, B, Q. So if I do the same thing again, at this point, there are no more characters in word one. So I'm just going to take what I have J onwards in word two and append that to the end of my merge list. So R, S, and I just return that merge. So what I'm going to do is start off with two pointers on both words. First, add the character at word one, then word two, and just increment both pointers. If I run out of indices, I just take the word that has indices left and add the remaining characters at the end of that before returning it. So let's go ahead and code this up. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is initialize i and j to both be zero. So i equals j, which equals zero. Now my merge string that I return at the end is just going to start off as empty. And I also want to know the length of word one and word two. So length of word one is going to be length of word one. And same thing for word two. So word two equals the length of word two. So while i is less than length of word one and j is less than length of word two, we just want to add our characters to merged. So merged plus equals word one of I. So what we have a character in word one at index I, and we're going to follow that up with what we have in word two at index J. Once we add those up, we just increment I and J both. So I plus equals one and J plus equals one. And once we exit out of this while loop, we know at least one index did not have enough indices to iterate over. So we just want to check which one it is. So if I is less than length of word one, that means there were still characters in word one that I could have added. So I'm going to add to merge word one from index I onward. Also, if that wasn't the case, then it would be word two merged plus equals word two from index J onwards. And in the end, all we have to do is return our merged string. So let's go ahead and submit invalid syntax. Oh, we didn't even define this over here. Oh, let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Before leaving, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of our code with an example. This is to make sure we truly understand what's happening line by line. So say I had word one being AB and word two being PQ. Going through this line by line, the first thing I do is initialize my I and J to be zero. So they're both starting off at index zero over here. Next, I initialize my merge string to be empty. And now I define length of word one and length of word two. So both of their values are going to hold two as lengths. Going into this while loop, we make a check. While i is less than length of w1, that is true, and same for j, that is also true, we're going to add to merged word one of i. So word one of i is a, we add that on, and word two of j, so that is p. So right now we have a p in our merged string. Now we increment both i and j. So i is one and j is one, and they're pointing to the next index now. So we go back in this while loop, this is still true, right? So going back inside that while loop, we add to merged the characters we have at those indices. So for word one, it's going to be B and for word two, it's going to be Q. We increment I and J again, and they're both at two now. So going back in this while loop, 
this condition no longer holds true. They're both equal to two and they're not less than the length of both words. So we exit this while loop and we make a check. If I is less than length of word one, that is not true. So we go into this else. We're going to add to merge word two from index J onward. Now index J is at two. So there is nothing to add on to the end of merge. So we've already constructed our entire merged string. So we're just going to return A, P, B, Q. And that makes sense, right? We're alternating. So it's going to be A, P, B, Q just as expected. Now talking about space and time complexity. So if we weren't to include our merged output, which usually we don't, this is going to be constant O of one for space. And for time, we are looping through every single character in both word one and word two. So if word one had a length of N and word two had a length of M, our time complexity would be O of N plus M. Now we just went ahead and solved the merge strings alternately. If you have any questions whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.